What's up? Welcome back to the channel, fellas. Today, we're simulating the Fighting Lane Kiffins, the Florida Atlantic Owls. Let's see what they do for this coming season. Let's see what FAU did this season. We got three sacks. They signed a gym. Wow, okay, we got a couple things. A couple four-star prospects. School records, sacks in a game, forced a couple turnovers, forced 20 turnovers this season. That's not a bad season. Eight and four, the Fighting Lane Kiffins, FAU Owls. Let's see what happened. Conference standings, FAU eight and four, Tulsa and Florida Atlantic both above them. But they go four and one in their division, which means Florida Atlantic beat them in their division. Wow, FAU. Had a pretty good year. They lost Ohio State. That's not the worst thing in the world. They beat UCF like a drum. Ball State. They beat the FCS team. They lose to Rice. Wow. 3-9 and nine Rice. They beat Marshall. They beat Middle Tennessee. ECU. They lose to Tulane. They beat UAB. They beat Southern Miss. And they lose to Florida International in overtime. That's a pretty good season for Florida Atlantic. I bet Lane would take that one. Let's see what happens in the Heisman, just for, you know, gigs. Dobbins, Book, Carr, Haskins, and Swift, all kind of the usual fellas. No one from FAU in the top of the Heisman. Let's see the top 25 polls. Ohio State, number one, 12-0. LSU, 12-0. Notre Dame, 11-1. Penn State and Michigan, both 11-1 to round out the top five. Then Auburn sitting at 10 and 2 with Washington 11 and 1, Georgia 10 and 2, Alabama and USC the usual suspects in the top 10, and Oklahoma at number 11. We got Boise, that's a new one. Florida State, South Carolina, Florida, oh SMU there, and then Tulsa at number 19, that's a good one. And then you got Memphis at number 21. Wow, that's a pretty interesting year. And number 25, Arkansas State. You don't really see them ranked very often, but that's pretty cool. BCS, Ohio State, obvious number one. LSU, obvious number two. Both of them have a conference championship. Notre Dame's waiting in the weeds. Penn State also hoping both of them lose. Notre Dame, Penn State, could that be the national championship? Let's see what happens. I appreciate you for sticking around, and we'll see you on the other side. Ian Book wins the Heisman. 3,900 yards through the air, 268 on the ground, 44 total touchdowns. Haskins comes in a close second. Dobbins, Carr, and Swift, I apologize, but this year it was a two-man race. Let's see here. We've got FAU versus Western Kentucky. Kirk is rocking with the Hilltoppers, but FAU is better in every category except one passing offense. Western Kentucky having that prolific passing attack. What will happen? Let's check it out. And FAU wins 45-21. to Go Owls. What a season for the Fighting Lane Kiffins. One game away from double-digit wins. I think Boca Raton would be very happy with that season. Singletary breaks his own record. And then he has 3,700 yards in his career. What a career for Devin. 32 touchdowns in his career, beating the previous record by five touchdowns. FAU wins the Beef O'Brady Bowl over the Hilltoppers. Let's see what happened in the rest of the college football world. Ohio State wins again. Jeez, we don't want to see that. Come on, we want to see some cool teams. Ohio State wins 49-9, to not even a game. Poor LSU. You just got to feel bad for them. Let's check out what happened for Ohio State this season. They beat FAU, and then they beat pretty much everyone pretty convincingly. There really wasn't a challenge until you get to Michigan and Iowa, and LSU wasn't even a challenge for Ohio State. Let's check out the rest of the top 25. Oklahoma there at number 9. SMU at 10. That's pretty interesting. You don't see that very often. 11-2. We've got Florida, South Carolina, Boise sitting there at 20, and then Hawaii in the top 25. UMass makes it in the top 25. I've never had that happen. 10 and 4, must have won their bowl game. Wow. And Clemson's down there at number 23. That's an interesting year, but Ohio State wins the national championship. 
Let's check out what happened for the rest of the conference. Tulsa goes 11 and 3. That's a cool thing. They're ranked number 22. Florida International 7 and 6. But Florida Atlantic goes 9 and 4. Pretty freaking good season for fighting Lane Kevins. Let's check out the season stats. Chris Robinson passes for 2,200 yards. Not a bad year, man. Devin Singletary, number two in the country behind Perry from Navy. They run that triple option. That's not a bad year. That's a pretty good freaking year. Wright, 785 receiving. Burden, 27 tackles. Four and a half sacks for Wagner. Six interceptions for Thule. And, of course, our kicker. How did he do this year? Rebus for a 47. 69th in the country. That's pretty interesting. That's funny. Meme, meme, meme. All right. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for sticking around. Like, comment, subscribe. I take suggestions. I love them. Peace.